guys, it's your boy Dream Team Neil and your boy Darwin. We back with another video, guys. We back with American fans, Europeans can't understand. Don't you know, know we've been doing vice versa. You know, some things Europeans do that American can. Thanks. And now we're gonna see some things that you know we probably do ourselves. Oh. They're probably normal to us. <laughs> you Most know, of the world can't thing. understand. Hey, you know so. <laughs> Hey, y'all hit that subscribe button and that those recommendations. And let's see, let's just see what we Doing got. Things here. I can't understand. On everything. <laughs> we here instead of it. That's right, that's right. While the culture of the United States is exported all over the world in films and on TV, and also abides by some laws and practices that many consider unusual, Europeans in particular seem to have a hard time wrapping their heads around some of them. From child beauty pageants to gun laws, let's take a look at some American things that Europeans can't understand. Sick of commercials. Oh, <laughs> European yes. enjoying a cozy night on, on the couch in America. Some of the stuff on TV may shock and surprise you. And no, I'm not talking about keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> I'm about commercials, which arrive so frequently it makes watching TV feel almost unbearable to anyone unaccustomed to it. Seals leaks instantly. <laughs> Especially pharmaceutical commercials, which usually show grumpy men and women turned into smiling, happy people. <laughs> Usually followed by an almost comically long list of potential. That's exactly how it be. Oh, dude. That's what I be. Them commercials, man. It's crazy because Hulu they charge you four ninety nine, but for nine ninety nine you can get an ad free. Come on, man. Crazy. You know crazy. I need an ad free. No. Come on. I'm gonna have to pay the extra five. That's because I don't want to see nothing. By the I product swear. being sold. Mm -hmm. These are usually followed by an almost comically long list of potential side effects spoken at double speed, like ambient ad. As well as abnormal behaviors such as being more outgoing or aggressive than normal, confusion, agitation, and hallucinations may occur. Don't take a look at as it may increase these behaviors. Allergic reactions such as shortness of breath, swelling of your tongue or throat may occur and in rare cases may be fatal. Side effects may include next day drowsiness, dizziness, and headache. In patients with depression, worsening of depression, including risk of suicide may occur. These types of direct-to-consumer oh, commercials peddle prescription drugs, which is an advertising standard that was rejected by the European Commission back in 2002. The commission stated that pharmaceutical companies were unable to provide impartial information on their medicines. If that's the case, why is it practiced in America? To put it simply, there's simply never been a federal law passed to outlaw the practice. This is in no small part thanks to the fact that direct-to-consumer drugs and their accompanying ads are a huge business. And in America, whether it's right or wrong, the rules tend to follow the money. Come Europeans on, might actually need a oh, pill for the headache all those ads give them. Make <laughs> them and a violent hatred of cheese. <laughs> no place like home. Let's say you're a European who's just moved over to America. You found a house in a nice residential neighborhood and you're going through your bills. Rent, water, gas, electric, all seems in order. But wait a second, what's a homeowner's association <laughs> fee? To a native, oh, that's a pretty know. obvious oh, question. But for Europeans, you. it's an unwelcome surprise. These fees contribute to the local homeowners association, which is somewhat like a neighborhood watch, but managing funds to be reinvested into the community. It goes towards uh -huh. things like residential maintenance and common spaces, which keeps residents happy and property uh -huh. values up. With around 24% of all Americans living under a homeowners association, they pay $200 to $300 on average per month in fees to these entities. Uh -huh. Now, while some Ooh. Europeans might struggle- Crazy thing is, as you can see in our neighborhood, we ain't got no parks. Oh, everything. No swimming pool. Like, we ain't even. Oh, everything. The most they're doing is fixing a road. We like, y'all need to come mow my line. Y'all need to come Something. do these things. That what should I mean? be. Exactly. That should be in there. I have to mow my own grass. <laughs> <laughs> they talking about all this stuff, man. Oh, everything. They fixing roads that they just built. <laughs> Average per month in fees to these entities. Now, while some Europeans might struggle with this concept, it was a form of governance that was actually invented by France back in 1804. Oh. The condominium law was exported to the U.S. where it became incredibly popular. So, for any European that wants to complain about homeowner regulations and fees, feel free to blame the French. <laughs> Vacant vacation days. The USA has one of the largest economies in the world. A tremendous economy. In the French, 
Some Europeans looking to get into the American world of work are often shocked when it comes to vacation time. U.S. workers are not entitled to mandatory paid vacation at all. Usually, the issue of paid leave is left at the discretion of employers. And yes, that does include national holidays. According to research from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, in 2017, only 77% of American workers had access to paid vacation. Wow. Now, the reason that might leave Europeans slack, John, is because mandatory paid vacation time in Europe starts at four weeks. In fact, America is one of the only Western countries That's where beautiful. law doesn't enforce companies to give its employees mandatory paid vacation time. Don't believe me? Take a look at this map breaking down mandatory paid vacation time by country. Only the great countries are known not to give paid time off. Dang. It's a working culture that undoubtedly favors employers over employees. That's crazy, bro. That's not good at all. That's why people stressed out here. Come on, man. I need my vacation time. Come on. Bro. I ain't going nowhere, but I need, <laughs> I need to be off. <laughs> get away from y'all. <laughs> it's a working culture that undoubtedly favors employers over employees. Americans might want to think about learning Chinese instead, as employers in China must legally offer five days of holiday. Although that mm -hmm. is after one continuous year of work. Dang. Some lose some, I guess. <laughs> Florida man. If the American <laughs> states could be looked at as a dysfunctional family, then Florida would be the weird uncle who <laughs> once ran away with the circus and wrestled a tiger. The Sunshine <laughs> State is the third most populous state in the USA and receives over 100 million visitors year on year. Jeez. So many people living between Miami Beach, Disneyland, and Pensacola, a little crazy is bound to be found on the fringes of society. But what Europeans aren't prepared for are the crazy antics of Floridians that make <laughs> daily headlines. What? From Florida Man right believed that he was half man, half dog. <laughs> Florida man robs bank, strips naked, and runs down the street throwing stolen money everywhere. In July 2017, oh, he the internet for almost any day <laughs> he found a headline announcing Florida man has committed an yeah, utterly bad thing. There oh, doesn't seem to be an equivalent for the European world? countries, oh, although the God, UK comes dang. close with some of its questionable journalism topics like <laughs> Britain's fattest woman ate fridge and died. What? What are you talking about? Ain't that, a fridge. That gotta mean she ate everything in the fridge. Bro. What in the world? Six thousand calories a day from stash next to bed, bro. <laughs> Just from the stash next to the bed, you getting six thousand calories a day, bro. My God, <laughs> somebody should have at least got her to my six hundred pound life to get help. Hey. Oh my God. Woman ate fridge. <laughs> That's door. crazy. Let me know the funniest local headlines you've ever seen at stories at bmaze.com. VAT trouble. In Europe, like most of the world, tax is built into the price of items uh. in store and online. So what you see on the tag is what you pay. But Europeans visiting an American store might be left doing a double take at their bill when they reach the register. Yeah. There is no national sales tax or value added tax in America. Instead, American taxes differ by jurisdiction of which there are around 7,000. Differences in these local Jeez. rates, state taxes, or combined state and local taxes means that final prices Dang. for the same item can differ from one street to the next. Crazy. For first-time shoppers in the U.S., this unpleasant surprise is a rite of passage that mean, no one asks for. I swear, tell me how much Tipping point. A meal at a restaurant can be a real treat, but Europeans visiting America sometimes stress about the tip. Although tipping anywhere up to 20% seems normal to most Americans, there's no such obligation in Europe. Indeed, it's mostly seen as a bonus reward for good service. And in some European countries, it's even considered rude and excessive to leave a tip. The American That's federal crazy. government, however, states that tips can be used to satisfy the difference between the employee's hourly wage and the standard minimum wage. This means food servers, valets, and in-house staff in certain states can be working for a federal wage of just $2.13 mm -hmm. per hour, which is about one euro 96 cents. So if you're a European visitor to the States, get ready to factor in your tip to the overall price of your meal. You might well be contributing to a struggling waiter's rent. <laughs> Child like beauty pageants. If you <laughs> I always say I was a waiter, my sister as a waitress always made more money than Dude. any hourly job I had, Man. bro. 
I'm telling you, they can walk out with like almost two to four hundred a day. I swear, bro. That's your, and that's on the, that that day you walking away with uh-huh. that money. If you've ever been unfortunate enough to have watched an episode of Toddlers and Tiaras on TLC, I think you might side with the Europeans on the next matter. Child beauty pageants are common across America and usually consist of dolled up little girls being thrust onto a stage to entertain a crowd of screaming moms. Oh, everything. bizarre. But what's equally strange is how the craze got started. Child pageants originated from American Better Baby contests in the early 20th century. Mm. Babies would be scored on characteristics like weight, quality of skin, and face shape, supposedly in the name of helping to educate mothers on best practices for healthy babies. But of course, it wasn't just for education purposes. (laughs) There were also cash rewards and trophies for top-ranking toddlers. This has slowly devolved into the bedazzled tradition of pushing a child on stage in full makeup and styled hair to do a dance routine for a prize money. Never seen that Although show. some European countries host similar but smaller. Yeah, I seen the one. What's the one? The dance, dance one. Moms. I seen That's that a good one, one, man. Hair to do a dance routine for a prize money. Although some European countries host similar but smaller events, others like France have gone as far as to ban all such pageants, claiming mm-hmm. they're an unhealthy way to treat young girls. If you ask me, their general creepiness alone should be enough to slam the brakes on child beauty pageants. Honey Boo Boo, no oh, thanks. Yeah, I remember honey boo boo. Oh, you're here while you do. Size <laughs> is everything. According to an old saying, everything's bigger in Texas. But if you're a European, you'll probably think that about all of America. Right down to these people. But it's no secret that America has a little bit of a weight problem. Two thirds of American adults classify. <laughs> she got all this fruit, bro. What did, what did she eat right there? It looked like a chocolate bar. <laughs> well, she cut some veggies and stuff. Right? America so has a little bit of a weight problem. <laughs> It looked like a chocolate bar. Is overweight, oh, and goodness. it's estimated that almost 40% of adults in the U.S. age 20 <laughs> and over are obese. Why, why am I eating these? That's one of the hardest things to do is eat a salad, boy. I, I need some pickiness on this still on there. Boy, she just picking at me. Uh-huh. She, she ain't trying to eat it. Yeah, I can't eat salads. She's like, nah, let me go pop some It's estimated that almost 40% of adults in the U.S. age 20 and over are obese. Contrasted to Europe, where a survey carried out in 2014 labeled just 15% of adults obese. That's a king size difference. Way to slap fries. The American tendency to overeat might have something to do with portion sizes in the state. A study comparing portions in Paris and Philadelphia revealed food outlet portions were 25% larger in Philly. And a review of 17 different single serve foods like yogurt and candy bars found that 14 of them were bigger in Philadelphia. While wow. a one state to one country comparison doesn't necessarily represent the whole, Europeans on social media often comment on how much bigger everything seems <laughs> stateside. Have you noticed this difference in portion sizes? Let me know in the comments below. Bonus points for food puns. <laughs> oh, sugar. Living in America can really give you a taste for the sweet life, but your teeth won't thank you for it. Why? Well, some American foods and drinks have been found to contain huge amounts of sugar compared to their European Mm -hmm. equivalents. Some common bread brands contain up to 6 grams of sugar per serving, 6 times the amount found in European counterparts. But it doesn't end there. Taking a look at Pizza Hut's sugar content reveals most of their stateside pizzas have close to double the amount of sugar per slice as European. That is definitely not Pizza Hut, boy. That pizza look dry in the mud. I don't know what that is. That look nasty. That, that, I don't know what that is. I didn't even think about that, but I ain't never seen you. You said Pizza Hut, I'm looking like that's a homemade pizza. The crust don't look like that. Uh Uh Uh-oh. Yeah. Feels most of their stateside pizzas have close to double the amount of sugar per slice as European versions. And in Starbucks, a UK venti white chocolate mocha will contain 62.4 grams of sugar. But in America, that shoots up to 72 grams. I've heard of sweetening the deal, but any Europeans making the trip across the Atlantic might leave suffering from a toothache. (laughs) Gaps in the market. European standards of building a public restroom involve plenty of privacy, mainly in the form of cubicles with doors that are more door than gap. Seems obvious, but it's a standard that Americans just can't seem to adopt. 
with ridiculously large gaps at the top, bottom, and hey, sides, it of makes for a truly uncomfortable day. first visit to an American so toilet for <laughs> unwitting visitors. On their first time, Europeans are left feeling especially susceptible to unwelcome visitors and people <laughs> times. Some people even resort to tipping <laughs> the to keep them looking in. But as strange as the design seems, there are some theories as to why Americans build their stalls this way. For a start, high floor gaps allow for easier cleaning, and they do make it simpler to pass toilet paper from one cubicle to another. <laughs> On top of that, the vertical gaps act as a deterrent for anyone thinking of doing anything naughty behind closed doors. But there's always the chance you might accidentally get a real eyeful. Maybe just close your eyes before entering any American restrooms. Triggered. It strikes many Europeans as a bit odd that in America you can pick up your groceries from one aisle of a store and a gun from another. Indeed, you can buy <laughs> guns over the counter in places like Walmart, Yo. and ammo can be found in pharmacies. But seeing as guns are still legal in either. many parts of Europe, what is it that Europeans find weird about the gun-loving, rifle-wielding, Second Amendment-touting American citizen? It might have something to do with America's gun-related death rate, seeing as per capita, there were 12 gun-related deaths for every 100,000 people in America in 2017. Very few European countries exceed three gun-related deaths per 100,000 people, and none even come close to America's 12 per 100,000. The causes of the problem are fiercely debated, but it might have something to do with how easy it is to buy a gun. Background checks are usually carried out, but a research survey from Harvard in 2015 estimated that a third of American gun owners have purchased a firearm without a background check. Mm. In Europe, many countries like Austria and Germany require would-be gun owners to go through a rigorous seven-step procedure before owning a gun. High-caliber handguns are outright banned in the UK, and many categories of semi-automatic weapons are illegal to own across Europe. It's simply much harder to legally purchase a gun in Europe than it is in the US, which I'm sure is a trigger point for some. <laughs> Have you noticed any all-American yeah, quirks of your own? Let me know in the comments section below. Dang, that is some. Um, that stuff that still amazes us. We still don't understand some of this Bar stuff. Like, at like, all. But, man, that one. Definitely the HOAPs and the, the overweight thing, man. It, it'd be hard. <laughs> Probably because I, I think even the healthy food, it, it's still artificial. It ain't even real. Oh, everything. So like, like, you might as well eat bad every year. Yeah, you go organic, you just. Paying too much for food. Right? Paying too much, and I seen somebody making some lettuce. It looked like it was like fake or something. And they made you know we don't even know the fruits and vegetables real unless you oh, every day. Garden, get your own garden and stuff, man. <laughs> it's crazy out here, guys. Oh, but every day. That's all we have for this video. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Send us some more recommendations. Let us know what you think in the comments below. But hey, that's all we have. We out of here.